This solution is so simple yet so effective you'll ask yourself at the end of the video why you didn't do this sooner. I'll go ahead and show you in this video how you can take a simple tablet like a Fire tablet and convert it into a all-in-one display for your home. But one thing that I really wanted was to eliminate the need to ask constantly the same question over and over again. Until date, these smart home devices don't provide that, but a simple modification to something like this can get you the results you need. So stay around till the end of the video and we'll see exactly how you can put something like this in place for your own home. So what we're gonna do for the purpose of this video is just take a regular tablet. Let's go ahead and open it up and see how we can go ahead and make the changes to it. So once you have the tablet fired up, if you need something on the screen 24 seven, you're just gonna go into that app. So for me, what's really important is the weather. So I'm gonna go into the For You and I already opened the weather app, but I'll go into the weather app. But what I need is this to di display 24 seven. So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it. And this is what I need 24 seven to be displayed to me. And this is what I need. So how do I go ahead and keep this on without the tablet turning off. Those are the settings that we're gonna do right now. And I have been using this for about six months and it is so great. This is a new tablet that I got so I could put it in another room. But guys, this is such a convenient solution. So for the next step, we just need to make sure that the device never goes to sleep when it's plugged in. So you're gonna press the home button two or three times and it's gonna to go to the home screen. Select settings. And then you're gonna scroll all the way down where it says device options. And in the device options all the way down, you're gonna to go to about fire tablet and you have the serial number over there. You're gonna tap it several times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Now developer mode is on and it gave a message about developer mode being on. So here you'll see an option called developer options. I don't know if you can see that developer options. You're just gonna go ahead and select it. When you click that, this will give you the option for it to stay awake. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn, we're gonna go over here and let's turn the developer options on. And yes, we do wanna do allow the development settings. So the first thing I wanna enable is I want it to stay awake. So what this does is the screen will never sleep while charging. So when we have that hooked in, it'll never go to sleep. Let's go down. All right, that's the only option we needed to enable. But one thing we need to keep in mind is we don't want the brightness to go up and down either. The app you're going to use is called Keep Screen On. And this is basically going to prevent the screen from dimming. So we're going to go ahead and select that and let's go ahead and install it. And it's free, so you just got to install it. So we're going to select the option until I turn off. And continue. Keep on after screen turns off and then on. We'll do that. Um, so go ahead and click OK. All right, it's been up and running for about two or three minutes. I haven't seen the screen dim. And we're gonna go ahead and hook it downstairs and I'll show you how it looks. So this is how the screen looks in my living area. It's just set up right underneath the router where you can see it all the time. And I can see the temperature without having to change any other options. So it's very simple to do. Go ahead and give it a try. And that's all you gotta do. You're gonna have your screen ready for your personal use. You can have any kind of information on it, whether you want the weather, you want the stocks, you want anything to be displayed on it 24 seven, regular tablets. I know it was very straightforward to put these settings in place, but all you gotta do is get a tablet, put on those screen settings and you're good to go with your custom display. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe for more.